what's up guys welcome back to the channel and uh today we just gonna pretty much continue to oust activision blizzard for their absolute ne neglect and basically non-acceptance of the fact that they ref are incompetent uh st stupid and basically downright evil Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe if you do, and uh, let's jump right on into it. So, uh, we all know that Activision is in the midst of a lawsuit by California for uh, what they would call workplace culture, uh, a bro culture, a frat boy culture, whatever you want to call it, stupid old, old, old men my age clinging on to yeah, a young man's lifestyle, pretty much. So, with that being said, they're being sued for basically one, how they treat women in the workplace. Uh, and two, they're just being sued for how they don't. I don't know I, I, how they a woman died. OK, you know what I'm saying? And it's she died due to the, the way that these guys at these offices handle business and now that by the way, I'm what I mean by business is, is that you know if, if they go if they they feel that they are in a position to where that they could just do whatever they want to do and then, you know they can treat lesser employees employees that you know aren't in a better position to defend themselves or to basically make change in the company they feel that they could just treat them like crap and this is proof that that shit don't fly and it's not going to work so. After I made that video a while back when this all first started, you know what I'm saying? I just been keeping a close eye on it and whatnot, trying to get everything I need before I go ahead and move right on into it uh, and continue to, one, blast these motherfuckers for being a trash company and two, shine a light on the fact that these big companies don't give a damn about us, their employees. If they don't give a damn about their employees, what makes you think they give a damn about us? So. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. And I have it pulled up right here. Uh, first, I want to basically go on to say this right here from uh, what's his name? Uh, Mike Maha Mike Mahon Myham Moreham, I believe his name is. Uh, it's right here. Mike Moreham Morehane. Pretty much, and you can't put anything past a human being i've said this before and i say it a thousand times people are despicable they do the most heinous things to the, even the people they consider family and yeah you can't put anything past them but i'm not saying anything about mike moreham here because of all the things that i've read and all the what the, uh everything that i've been hearing about it from activision and blizzard period this is probably the only genuine and heartfelt thing that i could uh say that that comes out of this entire thing uh, and he goes on to say that uh, he's read the full complaint, and I'll highlight it here. He says he goes on to say he's read the full complaint against Activision Blizzard and many of the other stories. Moreham said it is uh, very disturbing and difficult to read. I'm ashamed, and it feels like everything I thought I stood for has been washed away. What's worse, but even more important, real people have been harmed, and some women have had terrible experiences. I was at Blizz I was at Blizzard for 28 years. During that time, I tried my hard, I tried very hard, sorry about that, to create an environment that worked uh, was safe and welcoming for people of all genders and backgrounds. I knew it was was not perfect, but clearly we were far from that goal. Very far. The fact that so many women were mistreated and were not supported means we let them down. That you did. But well, let me finish. We let them down. In addition, we did not succeed in making it feel safe for people to tell their truth. It is no consolation that the other companies have faced similar challenges. I want us to be different, better. Now, Mike, here's where I don't I, I feel I, I applaud him for coming out and speaking on this topic. Being as someone who used to be with the company and whatever, and you know, it, 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 at least it's good to know that it's somebody in the company 
has had a heart. You know what I'm saying? It had the right, the right intentions for their employees, for their business. You know what I'm saying? But, but this doesn't fall on Mike. This is, this is not your fault, Mike. You know what I'm saying? And you, you, you have, you can feel, you know, let down. You can feel like you, you let them down and whatnot. That's on you. You know what I mean? But I'm going to tell you right now, this ain't you. This ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? This got to do with the current administration, the current leaders of, of the company. And, and, and the fact that you have to come out and be the voice of reason to make it to try to basically it's like they I feel like I almost feel like they called you up and was like, yo, we need you to just lay some e lay some 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 kind of dignity over this so we can get our shit together over the week so we can basically address this. Because for so long, for a couple days, you didn't hear anything. And the crap that you did hear did not sound apologetic at all. So, and what I mean by that is what I'm going to get into next. You look at this article and it says, it's titled, Why is Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Cowan behind subordinates? Now, what I mean by that is, there's just one woman. She is basically in a position of power at Activision Blizzard. Her name is Fran Townsend. Uh, Townsend. And she has... Like I've seen people cower up and whatnot and try to cover their tracks and all that. You see it in big companies all the time that get lawsuits, but it it it, it to hell with that. You know what I'm saying? They practically trying to pretty much throw this chick under the bus and she actually going for it. And this crap she's been saying as well doesn't look good for the company because basically in the end, she's not, you know, going, she's not standing up. For what has what is going on in the company, she's not going against it. She's basically going with it. She's part of the cover up to make Activision Blizzard look more homely, more appealing, and, and make it seem like they oh this is, our company isn't like this. This isn't who we are. I don't you know what I'm saying. So, with that being said, she released a statement. Uh, I believe saying that uh she uh she wanted to reach out. To you, I know that it's been difficult for many of us and recently filed a lawsuit presented a distorted and untrue picture of our company, including factual, incorrect, old and out of context stories, some for more than a decade ago. It don't matter, dude. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 you sitting it right there is, is pretty much what I'm talking about. A distorted and untrue picture of the company. Dude. Like we said, people are being hurt. A woman died, man. Y'all are basically just looking out for only the shareholders and the company as a whole. As long as y'all can keep people, as long as y'all can keep a good image in the eyes of the peoples, the, the people and the consumers and whatnot, then guess what? Y'all can be able to blow this shit over in a couple of months and y'all can move on and continue to make trash ass video games that nobody seems to like to play a a la Call of Duty here lately. And I don't play World of Warcraft, so I can give a rat's ass what any of those nerds over there have to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So. Townsend blast a lawsuit in California saying that it contains out of text scenarios while also talking about how great her experiences are within the company have been without offering sympathy or acknowledgement to those potentially experiencing ongoing problems. Lady, let's, let me line this out for you. If this woman is in a position of power, what makes you think that she would have the same experience in the company as those who are not in a position of power? You understand what I'm saying? So people who are women who are basically just starting out in the company, they're not getting the same salaries as these women, other women who are in a position of power, who basically don't get treated like the other women in a position of power are not having the same experience as the women, as a woman in a position of power. OK. The Activision companies of today, she goes on to say. The Activision companies of today, the Activision companies that I know, that she knows, 
are, are great companies with good values. When I joined the ex, 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 executive leadership team, I was certain that I was going to, that I was joining a company where I would be valued, treated with respect, and provided opportunities equal to those afforded to the men. Of the, uh, for me, this has been truly do. Uh, this has been true during her time as a leader. She claims she's committed to making sure that that spirit, that experience is that experience is basically afforded to the rest of the organization of uh, basically same gender and other. <laughs> Blizzard head J. Allen ba- uh, Brock. Barack, that's what that was. B a r r a c k. I guess somebody misspelled that. Also issued an internal memo of its own, emphasizing a zero tolerance to the behavior detailed in the lawsuit. Brack also added that he intended to meet with Blizzard staff to gather feedback on how to move forward. Let's see. In talks with past present Blizzard staff, it's quite apparent to me that the uh, Activision Townsend knows as she describes, uh, uh, insists primarily in a fantasy land of Activision. And I 100% agree, man. Because like I said, you are not going to get the same treatment as a woman who just walked in the door applying for a job, gets the job, and okay, this is her first day, or second day, third month, whatever you want to call it. it, it she's not going to, you're not going to get that treatment. You're a boss, lady. You understand? Uh, the men that walk up to you, they don't look at you as as they look at uh, Karen or Lucy down in, in accounting or or whatnot. They they look at you are a, a, a high level boss in the company. We're not gonna walk up to you and Google your chest and and and, and say you got a nice ass when you turn around. Though you may be cool with it because you know I'm pretty sure in, in, there's an ego involved in there somewhere. But when I sit back and I look at these statements that she made, I'm not seeing anything that says that she can actually relate to what the women are experiencing at this company. You understand? She's, she, she, like I said, it's, 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 you're not them. You're not going to get that same treatment because of your, your position in the company. And she just basically going on and, and rambling about how the company, the company, the company, the company, you get what I'm going here? The company, the company, the company. You understand that this is what she's doing. She's basically saying that the company is not treating her like this. This is not happening. This ain't going down like that. She don't understand what they're talking about. It's just, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? So this article that goes on, the dude, an article, he says he asks, he, uh, he had to ask, why has Kodak paid as much as he is, which is this motherfucker just, just recently, or was that last year or whatever, got a $200 million fucking raise and, and if he is nowhere to be found at blizzard's darkest hours for uh, uh, that's because the motherfucker don't care i mean do we, do i have to show you a picture of bobby Kodak's face i mean we all seen the motherfucker this right here is a case of straight negligence and it's you, you that you guys really do believe that Y'all are going to get away with this. This is all some bullshit, a ploy, pretty much, to buy y'all. To me, it seems like a ploy to buy y'all time to get y'all act together or get get y'all, you know, shit straight when it comes to what's going on. And, and, and it's not it's not cool because you have employees. Employees who are looking forward to looking to y'all to basically protect them, man, to make sure that this shit doesn't happen. And you, Fran, you're basically pretty much just letting down your 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 fellow woman, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, does this woman look like she actually cares any goddamn thing about the women that's working there at a lower position than her? Does she look like she cares? Cause I don't think she does. I mean, she looking like she well set and she good. She ain't worried about shit. She look like she like to get cuckold every now and then, but I, I guess that's a uh, that's something that she'll never tell anybody. You know, everybody got their dark secrets. But all in all, guys, this whole situation with Activision is a bla- is a clear example of good and evil. And right about now, 
If y'all can't see it, Activision and Blizzard are an evil company. They don't care about nothing but themselves and the image of the company. To hell with their employees and to hell with how uh, anything else that has to do or any of the claims that come from these people when it comes to uh, how it turn, tarnishes their image. I can pretty much guarantee that if anybody felt that they had to, that they needed to step up and say anything to these people, that it wouldn't even matter. Because guess what? One, your job might be on the line. And two, if you really actually cared about your job, you might just want to keep your mouth shut. And that right there, in turn, is the problem. You shouldn't have to fear your job, fear losing your job in order to basically call out rent, uh, not rent, in in order to to basically call out uh, 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 Jake for basically harassing me. Look, Jake over here giving me shit. He always on my ass. You know what I'm saying? He talks to me like I ain't shit. You know what I mean? He need to be dealt with. Oh, well, you know what? How about we just fire you instead and, and keep Jake around because he actually has a bigger position than you and he's more valued than you are. That's pretty much what I'm hearing from Activision. That's pretty much when I hear what I hear when I see that kind of bullshit uh, 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 talking about the company's values and how the company is represented and how the company has treated her, a woman in power. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's not the same. You got uh, employees out there who want to see people step up and, and want to see their leaders, their their heads, especially in this case, you figure she'd be the main one, you know, standing behind these guys. It's behind these women. Hey, look, man, shit, this ain't cool. Uh, y'all don't treat me like that. What the, why the hell should you treat them like that? You know, but she's not. She's only basically running damage control for the company. Activision, mark my words, Activision Blizzard really do believe that they can get away with this. And if they do, it should not only open everyone's eyes to what kind of company and what kind of business practices are taking place in these mega industries nowadays. But damn, dude, what else needs to happen before people wake up and realize that shit? Why are y'all supporting these guys? Why are people sitting there and look, I, I get it. World of Warcraft is an amazing game. It's been for a long time. And that's your shit. And I, I understand. But does that, would you, would, does that, what does that, what does that mean to you when they basically would let their own employees get harassed and kill themselves and whatnot for a dollar? Your dollar. How does that make you feel? You know what I'm saying? It's absolute shit to me as far as I'm concerned. And what do we, what what about the what about some 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 kind of sympathy or some kind of apathy for the people who are going through this shit? Like I said before, and I, a woman lost her life because of this bullshit. Frat boy work culture and all that shit, man. I ain't even think that there was a such thing. When they said frat boy work work culture, I immediately thought of some punk college kids, man. You know what I mean? And and and. and if like I said, if this is how business is being conducted in a big company like Activision Blizzard, then man, I can only imagine what the hell is going on in other companies. Because if y'all focusing more on trying to harass these women and rather than get y'all's video game straight for the consumers, then I don't understand what the fuck's. I'm, 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 I'm done. You know, I really don't. I, I'm just. I'm not. I don't know what to look at. The, how to look at this situation? And all I can say is, I really do hope that Activision Blizzard get what's coming to them. People need to be fired. People need to be disciplined. To hell with all your workplace management programs and your increases and in raises and all that shit. See all that stuff right there. That's just company shit. You know, that's that. Well, that's not true. You know, what I'm saying we 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 we, we got programs to stop that. And not to mention that, we gave everybody a $50 raise as well. And not to mention that, we're, we're doing charity runs and all that stuff. And we're giving out free copies of all our games. That's the kind of shit that, that, that this sounds like. And that's the kind of shit that, that, that'll keep them in, or at least that's what they think would keep them in people's good graces. And it's absolute bullshit. What y'all need to do is y'all need to buckle down and admit to where y'all failed. Y'all failed y'all employees and y'all are failing as a company who says 
that they have strong values against these things. Y'all know y'all don't have no strong values against these things because if y'all did, y'all would be, do not be releasing fucking aggressive messages or aggressive responses to what the hell is going on. Y'all wouldn't be trying to uh, 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 cover shit up by saying, oh, this woman here ain't never had this, ain't never experienced this. And she, what, what do we got to say about that? Man, please. What I got to say about Fran is she's in a position of power and she ain't never going to experience this shit. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if she was actually in on it. These kind of people are sick like that and they get off on that shit. You know, it's wrong. It's not right. By far, and that th this company is the definition of a big company that is pure evil and that gives two shits about nothing, anything else other than making a dollar for them shareholders and lining their pockets and living on top of the damn world. And 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 it needs to come to an end, dude. Like I say, people need to be fired. Motherfuckers need to be arrested. To hell with your little programs and all that shit. Yeah. Anybody that's working at Activision or Blizzard in particular, because that's apparently where it went down at the most. Anybody working in Blizzard needs to be held accountable. And I figure Activision would have just been that smart to be like, man, who the hell is being who the hell did it? And if they did, once you get them in front of you, those motherfuckers are the one that we pinning this lawsuit on. Those motherfuckers are the one that we throwing under the bus because those motherfuckers are the one who are believing that they can get away with this shit, that just because they are a top uh, top billing in the company, they can do whatever the hell they want. Y'all trying to save face by with, with all this bullshit, but shoot, it, it, it's not going to work, man. We see y'all for what y'all truly are. Straight motherfucking evil. So, with that being said, I basically will end the video here and let y'all accumulate, uh, you know, bring together whatever ideas y'all want to bring together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Activision is heinous, man. This whole situation is just fucked up. And yeah, it, 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 the shit ain't right. The shit ain't right, man. And it, su it sucks that even Bobby Kotick, like the article said, nigga, where you at, bro? Where are you at, bro? What, why are you? Why is the two million dollar, two hundred million dollar CEO? Not basically going to war for, for this shit. Because you know what? Bobby in on it too. Guys, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you think down below. How you feel about this situation, man. And uh, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Hit that bell for notifications so you'll know when I upload. Uh, apparently, YouTube likes to stand in guys like myself way by uh, removing my comments, subs, and... Uh, watch time so yeah i i I'd appreciate it if y'all go ahead and like the video comment down below uh your thoughts and, uh, and opinions on this situation and uh yeah man to hell with activision they they they've always been shitty and, and these last couple of years have been no different there's nothing but a bunch of money trying to control the world and, and trying to make and make things work out for them at the expense of the little man or the little woman and the shit ain't cool so, guys, y'all have a good day, and uh, it's hot in the mug here in Texas. Like, about 110 is what it feel like. So, y'all stay cool. Peace.